Is it really you? Do I look like someone else? No. You're Mila, all right. And yourself? You seem different from last I saw you. Really? A little bit. Looks like you grew up without me. Could be. It doesn't change who I am, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you again. Same to you. Tipo, let go. No, it's what you get for making us worry. That's right. I want a hug too. Leave some room for me. Even you, Leia? <laughs> no point trying to fight it. <laughs> Fine. I surrender. I'm sorry for what I put you all through. That includes you, Alvin. Uh, I. That's really not necessary. No need to be coy. Armila won't let you into the group hug. What, you plan on joining in too? I don't mind. Very well then. And I'm out. Spyrix too. You mean this? Me and my grandma use them too. Really? My granddaughter and I both have a cardiovascular disease, and we've had medical Spyrixes implanted to help with them. I bet it hurt really bad when you put it on, huh? Yes, it did. But you just have to bear the pain. Because without Spyrix, we wouldn't be able to live normal lives. I see. You're so brave for being so young. Yeah, totally. My grandma always says that. Thanks to the advance in medical Spyrex technology, we've been able to overcome our illnesses. We'll never forget what Dr. Mathis did for us. May his soul rest in peace. Mathis? That's the same as your last name, Jude. Dr. Mathis is the one who created my Spyrex. But he died in a boat accident a long time ago. Uh, this whole time, I only saw Spyrex as harmful. I never considered it could actually help people.
Did you hear they're planning to raise the Spyrex tax again? It's all because of that other world reactor plan thing, right? Honestly, what is the government doing? I'm sure everything will turn out fine on Rize whatever without our help. So you think we should just leave them be? Hey, nobody said that. We should pay their people fair compensation and promise to help them with their development. Pay them with what, though? Our tax money? It's not like we're any better off. Well, you'd hope the government thinks of something instead of digging into our pockets. Either way, someone's got to figure out this energy crisis or we'll all be gone in a few years. Oh, I can't even worry that far ahead. I've got my hands full just worrying about today. I guess you can't make everyone happy. Must be nice to be so self-absorbed. That's just how people are. I'd be much more scared of a society where people were afraid to speak their minds. Yeah, that's true. This city is made of stone and metal. This is the Olympian city of Triglyph. Welcome, visitors from Riza Mexia. This lamp is casting light without channeling spirits. Hmm. Perhaps that cable is somehow conveying luminescent energy to that lamp. How could they have possibly built a city this size without using spirit arts? It's almost frightening. Everyone here seems to be just like us. Except for the part where none of them can channel spirits. It's a whole different world, but the people are just like us. It looks to be that way. I can't stand to hear Balin prattle on like that. Really? I find him quite interesting. He's been that way since he was a kid. That's how I knew it was him right away. He's strange, but he's really nice. I know. Unlike me. Nobody's saying that. But watch yourself around him. He has quite a mean streak. Do something embarrassing and he won't ever forget it. He'll torment you with it till your dying day. Like what? If he told you half the dirt he had on me, I'd never be able to show my face around you again. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes my skin crawl. <laughs> you guys seem really close. Well, I guess we were friends before he got all cynical. Oh. What's that? You jealous? Absolutely not. You don't know what you're talking about. City sure is strange. Yeah, I feel like there's something missing. There's no nature. Indeed, I haven't spied a single blade of grass, let alone a tree. Is it because they're using Spyrex? More likely because there aren't any spirits. Exactly. As the spirits became scarce, all signs of nature withered with them. Olympias is in its death throes. So this world needs spirits. What was that? Alvin, what does that poster say? Support the Otherworld Reactor Plan. They were probably put out by a union of Spyrex using merchants. It sounds like they're really dependent on Spyrex. You look like a deep-pocketed lot. Help us pull the plug on the reactor plan. Tell me, old-timer, why do you need donations to stop the plan? Filing official protests with the government isn't free, you know. Phew! Did you take a bath in booze today? What's the deal with this doll? Count me in. I want to stop the other world's reactor plan. Jude, wait. <laughs> Thank you, lad. Thank you. I wonder how Gaius intends to stop the plan. 
With Muse's power at his disposal, they could show up on this side at any moment. That's true. No point moping around on an empty stomach. Balin should have that food ready by now. From the nature to the culture, everything on Olympia seems so different. This is your homeland, right, Alvin? Yep. The source of the Spyrix you hate so much. You don't sound too happy about it. Didn't you want to return here more than anything? Well, I thought I did. I wonder why I wanted to return to this doomed world. It is true that its spirits have withered and its plants and animals are disappearing. But Olympias isn't over yet. The people here brought this upon themselves by using Spyrix. You aren't even the real Maxwell. Do you really intend to save humans like that? Yes, this is a human problem. And as you know, I'm quite fond of humans. Whether I'm Maxwell or not is beside the point. <laughs> I see. Glad to hear it. Heading out? I'm off to Helioborg. I hear the results of some new Spyrex research just came in. Oh, right. You did say you were an engineer. Well, hey, Balin buddy! Where's our chow? I put together a real nice spread back in my apartment. Feel free to dig in. Thank you so much! If you don't mind me asking, where exactly did you find us? Hmm? Out past Helioborg, where I'm heading now. You were sprawled at the foot of the hill on the other side of the complex. Thank you. No problem. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Alvin, was Pressa her real name? No. It was her alias as an Ajul spy. You and Pressa were friends, right? When she fell, why didn't you call her by her real name? Because I forgot it. I can't be expected to remember every little thing. That's horrible! You really are a jerk! Why lie about forgetting her name? When Pressa was a kid, she was abandoned by her family. So she always hated the name they gave her. So that's why you... That's why nothing. When I couldn't grab her hand, I was everything they said and a whole lot worse. <clears throat> everyone's plans from here on out. If we head to that spot Balin mentioned, we might be able to get back to Rize Maxia. 
Oh, I see. That's why you asked. Although, I'm not planning to leave until I find a way to help both Risa, Maxia, and Olympias. Is there any way we can help? Of course. I doubt I could figure things out alone. Just having you here would be a huge morale boost. We mustn't underestimate the circumstance, though. We must contend with Spyrix devices, the Otherworld Reactor Plan, and even Gaius. That's why you want us all to decide for ourselves. Try to head back home or figure things out here, huh? Wow, that's tough. Hmm. I realized something once we landed on this side. We can't eliminate Spyrix from Olympias, but we still need to get rid of the schism. It's a real conundrum. I want to figure out what I can do about this. Well, you know I won't agree to anything that hurts my own people. But we need to find something to help the spirits as well. I have something to say. If we can't eliminate Spyrex, then I will take the extra effort to watch over and protect the birth of new spirits, so their numbers stay intact. But that means... Spirits are another part of nature's cycle, just like humans. I will find a way to support them both. You sure about this? I've thought long and hard about this. Jude, if you're convinced that we can't get rid of Spyrex, then I won't argue. But we can't waste time debating this. We need to head to Helioborg. She's got a point. Any place working on Spyrex research is probably involved in the Otherworld Reactor Plan. Can I get answers from everybody by the time we get there? Okay. Mm. Is my role to offer support, or is it to lead? What should I have done? <sighs> Leia's been really sad recently. Is it about Agria? She slapped Leia's hand away, even though Leia was trying to save her. Why'd she have to be so cruel? A little cruelty won't kill Leia. She must have struck some sort of nerve in Agria. Some part of herself that she just couldn't let go. Why are you taking Agria's side? I'm not taking her side. I just understand her is all. I know what it's like to get trapped in a prison of one's own design. So what could we have done? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't have attacked you the way I did. But I do know one thing. Leia didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Obviously! What's happening? Helioborg is under attack! What? You should turn around and leave. It's not safe here. I just don't understand why anyone would attack the Spyrix Research Center. Who's behind the attack? We have no idea. The attackers were using Calculatrix without Spyrixes. How is that even possible? What's that? Spirit Arts produced using Spyrixes. If the attackers didn't need them, I think we know who they are. Sounds like Gaius is already making his move. Let's go. I want to make sure Balin is safe. It must be shocking for the Olympians to see us using arts without Spyrex. Not so much shocking as terrifying. To us, it's as if you have supernatural powers. But in a lot of ways, it's Spyrex technology that's more powerful. People fear what they cannot understand. That's why we're so quick to discriminate against other races and cultures. Alvin, were you scared when you first came to Riza Maxia? I was. The people seemed like monsters to me. And how do you feel now? Now? 
Uh, you know, some are good, some aren't. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> it sounds like young men from Olympias start out quite naive. <laughs> and old men are condescending no matter which world they come from. So how far is Olympias from Riza Maxia? Uh, it really isn't about distance. They're, like, separated by an impassable wall. Oh, I know! Rize Maxia and Olympias are about as far apart from each other as men and women are. An impassable wall? Does that mean we can never go home? I won't be able to see Drisel again? That's horrible! No, no, it'll be okay. After all, we're all together. You have Mila, Jude, Rowan, and even Alvin. You know they'll figure something out. That's true. You're here too, Leia! Yeah, but it's not like I'll be any help. That isn't true. When you're here, everyone's happier. Let's all go back to Rize Maxia together! Okay, it's a promise. So this entire city is powered by Spyrex. Yep. This world turns by stealing energy from spirits. Olympias has been doing that since ancient times. That's why it's rich in spirit fossils and little else. How can everyone be so calm about killing spirits? With so many spirits gone, even nature is starting to disappear. Olympians don't know that spirits create nature, or even that they're alive to begin with. All they know is that their primary energy source is drying up. Yet they're not doing anything about it. We've progressed this far by relying on Spyrex. We can't remake our society overnight. Could you immediately stop using spirit arts if someone told you to? No, I don't think we could. Riza Maxia couldn't exist without humans and spirits working together to cast spirit arts. Symbiotic coexistence, eh? Must be nice. Maybe we Manilobless Olympians are simply destined for extinction. I do suspect that was the destiny Maxwell originally had in mind, but I have no intention of adhering to Destiny's plans. I envy your strength. If you have time for envy, you have time to act. With your actions, this situation can change. Change the entire world, huh? That's not really my style, but... Maybe just this once. Insist on leaving me out, so be it. Is this another one of Eifried's arcs? What's it doing on Olympias? There are words appearing on it. My name is Eifried. I'm an explorer seeking a foreign world known as Riza Maxia. When I depart for it, I will gather the treasures I've collected in my adventures on Olympias and place them in arcs near my hometown as a gift to the next generation of adventurers. Huh. So Eifried was an Olympian. He must have found some way to cross the schism to Riza Maxia. And then he never made it back to Olympias. Huh. <laughs> Never figured there'd be someone else besides you guys crazy enough to go running off to other worlds. <laughs> well, let's pay our respects to our predecessor and help ourselves to his loot. Hey, 
Hey, are we seriously fighting this thing? I refuse to run from any enemy, no matter how strong. You're either stupid or... Really courageous. Thank you. Daring's a beauty. Set. Wake up already. Demon fist! shoulder. All right, not bad. I can't stop. I want to get strong. I'm just getting stuck. There's always everyone. A Spyrex casing. This looks like a storage space for Spyrexes, but the contents are destroyed. Did Gaius do this? Whoever it was leveled the larger facilities and warehouses, but left the other buildings intact. In other words, their goal is not an invasion or to wipe out the military. Mila, 
We should hurry and look for Balin. Right. I'm s Jude! Make me something! Why are you always fighting? I can't believe the size of this facility. Every. I'm I here. believe you should I'm allow me to fight in battle. Yeah. Time to go to work. Back off, okay? Seven more! Get rid of them all! Seven more! I'm here! Water. I'm ready! Yeah. The guard's down. Yeah. 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 Rising folks! I'm ready! Yeah. Yeah. Time to go to work! Don't fuck up, okay? Yeah. 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 Rising folks! Yeah. 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 Yeah! Yeah! Seven more! The guard's out. Yeah! I'm right! I'm okay! Yeah! 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 I just need to keep believing in myself. I'm just getting started. It's Are you okay? Thank you. I think I'll be okay now. This place seems deserted. Do you know where everyone went? Some people got out early. I don't know about the rest. It was pretty chaotic. Did you see the attackers? The soldiers hit us like a wave. They were led by some guy with a giant sword and a flying woman. Well, that settles it. That it does. They told us they'd destroy every last Spyrix, then they ordered us to retreat. Sounds like something he'd say. Wait, he can't be. Gaius must be planning to eliminate every Spyrix in the entire world. Just to stop the Otherworld reactor plan? Isn't that a bit extreme? No, it's a sound plan. Olympias' situation won't change as long as it has access to Spyrex. Even if the current plan is halted, someone else will eventually come up with something similar. By eliminating Spyrex, Gaius is going right to the heart of the two-world problem. Sounds like a lot of work. But if Gaius is anything, he's determined. Damn it. That puts Balin in danger. Excuse me, do you know anything about someone named Balin? He's a Spyrex engineer. 
You might find him over in the Spyrite Research Wing. What? Officially, it's called the Military Research Wing, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Those freaks are probably still wreaking havoc over there. <sighs> I'm sure he's okay. Don't worry about me. You just worry about Gaius. Yeah, but still... You already have enough on your plate. Your job is to keep moving forward, remember? R right We don't have time to worry right now. The sappy stuff will have to wait. All right, thanks. So where's this military research wing anyway? Just ahead. If it's still standing. Be careful. You too. You sure you're gonna be okay? Save it, I'm fine. Thank you. 
We'll never find Balin or Gaius at this rate. Let's look somewhere else. Hold on. What is it? Uh, this confirms it. They created a spyrite with the information Exodus gave them. Something called Volt. Interesting. So Gilland really was trying to save Olympias with spyrites. What? According to this, that spyrite thing was powered about a half an hour ago. It sounds like it was one of the reasons for the chaos that transpired here. Where'd it go? I don't know exactly, but it looks like it climbed to one of the floors above us. What do you think? It might be worth checking out. Why do you say that? I don't have any proof, but I think Gaius might have activated it. If he did, we should find him nearby. But what would be his motive for using Spyrite? I have the same question. I think it's important we get in contact with him. Jude, it's not that I don't want to meet him. But if Gaius is dead set on destroying all Spyrixes, I doubt he'll listen to anything we have to say. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. If that's his plan, then I'll just have to stop it. You say that now, but we all know how much you respect him. Just as you respect Mila. Please, Rowan. There's no need for this. You sure you won't back down in front of your hero, kid? Hey! Jude doesn't need a lecture from you. Yeah! Who died and made you head honcho? It's okay. I do respect Gaius, but it doesn't mean I have to follow his path. I can create my own. Otherwise, I'll never make my own decisions. I won't grow up to be who I want to be. Well said. The base's power went out. Let's proceed with caution. myself. Is it just me, or are we the strongest group ever? Whoa, come on, Leia. You need to calm down. 
No, Jude, you need to calm the heck up! Why can't you be happy about this? I, for one, am moved by our achievement. I never imagined I'd be so strong at this age. That is quite an accomplishment. No Iggy back can stop you! I'm proud of you, Rowan. Now you've done it all, huh? Whatever do you mean? The legend of mighty Giza has only just begun. See, Jude, you need to be more like Rowan. Get into the spirit... Guards down. What? No matter how strong you get, you still drop your guard when you get excited. You need to work on that. That whole act was just to catch me off guard? Possibly. Oh, but I truly am happy to be this strong. That's one point for Rowan. Fine, I'll be more careful. I'm ready! Rising Falcon! Seven four! That must be Volt. Ah! Anyone else all tingly? It appears to be a spirit that can control lightning. It doesn't seem to be tethered to a human the way Celsius was to Gillen. So you're saying it's out of control? We won't get any answers until we calm it down. So much sound and light! So what? That's not enough to stop us. In the end, that's one! Got it. <laughs> Demonic chaos! So much electricity. So much sound and light! So what? That's not enough to stop us. Demonic chaos! <laughs> Seven four! Finish them all. 
Okay, we finally stopped it. Everyone all right? Yes, somehow. All the electric shocks may have helped my blood circulation. Yes, all right. Just keeps getting better. I'm just getting started. I can't stop. I'll overcome anything. There's always room for improvement. We finally beat some sense into it. Just another easy battle for yours truly. If we've learned anything from Celsius and Volt, it's that Spyrites are tough customers. They're just as strong as the Great Spirits. We were wondering when you'd show up. Interesting. I never expected to find you here. So you've come to Olympias after all. I'm assuming you're the one that activated Volt. I don't understand your motive, though. Were you testing its potential? Potential? I would never entrust my people's lives to something as tenuous as potential. I attempted to tether with a spyrite precisely because it is something you would consider. What? But it was for naught. Their power is far beyond human control. That leaves us with no choice but to eradicate every last Spyrix from this world. So that really is your plan? Don't you realize what would happen? We would end the Otherworld Reactor Plan once and for all. Surely the end justifies my means. What about the Schism? We will leave it in place. As long as Spyrixes exist, the threat of Olympias exploiting Riza Maxia remains. And what of Maxwell? Do you plan to leave him where he is? It is the duty of the strong to ensure that the weak do not perish. This isn't right, Gaius! What about it isn't right? We will safeguard the schism until the last Spyrix is destroyed. Then, we shall unite the two worlds. What about all the people who will suffer if you eliminate their Spyrixes? Are you just going to ignore them? Don't worry about the poor suffering humans. Gaius will protect them. Jude, Mila, you of all people should understand the ideals I'm striving for. What's the point of ideals if you force them on others? Don't you see what's happening? Spyrix is a necessity for these people. Take it away and they'll have nothing left. Jude. You talk only of possibilities. I demand certainties. Maybe you're right, but I can't give up. This conversation is pointless. Please, let's be off. Yes, I suppose you're right. What should we do now? In the end, I couldn't. No, there are still things we can do. There has to be. Hmm. <sighs> Balin? Balin! Huh? Alfred! It appears the elevator stopped working when the power went out. We must find some way to get them out of there. Let's try climbing to the elevator. Wait! We can use Volt! How? Wait, you can't be serious. You're not planning on tethering with it, are you? Is that really wise? Maybe not, but it's worth a shot. Only way to find out is to try. <laughs> Volt, lend us your power. No way, it worked! It's still stuck. We need more power. Please, just a little more. This must be the same backlash that hit Gilland. Give it up, Jude. Not yet! What are you doing? 
Why do you insist on doing such reckless things by yourself? <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, don't leave us behind now. If a task cannot be done alone, then we must simply do it together. Keep trying and something's bound to stick sooner or later. We want to help too. Uh-huh. Thanks, everyone. Almost there. Focus. Now! Thanks for the save there. Balin, who are these people? They're patients. Each one of them has a condition that makes it impossible to live a normal life, even with Spyrexes. Wait, does that mean the next generation Spyrexes you've been researching are... Yep. Those little critters they're using are Spyrites. These creatures are Spyrites? They're so cute! But they don't seem any more powerful than lesser spirits. Of course not. They're lesser spirit Spyrites, after all. Wait a sec. Are you telling me you don't know how Spyrites are made? Do us a favor and assume we don't. Well, you should ask one of the other engineers if you want the full spiel. But in simple terms, you've all seen spirit fossils, right? If one of you Rizamaxia folks pours mana into one, voila! A Spyrite is born from it. How strange. I guess there's multiple uses to those fossils, huh? The only catch is you need a booster. What? Wait, did you just say booster? Yep. If someone with a booster pumps mana into a spirit fossil, the calculatrix art inside takes physical form. And that's how you make a spyrite. How are they different from spyrixes? It's a matter of art precision. These spyrites can be as precise as the Asperixis devices from back in the day. I didn't expect to hear that name here. Uh-huh. Too bad Asperixis devices consume spirits. Does that mean spyrites don't kill spirits when they're used? Pretty much. They're fueled by the mana stored inside spirit fossils, after all. One thing I don't understand. These people seem to have no trouble using spyrites. And yet, we struggle to tether with Volt. Spyrites made from great spirits are in a whole different league. The more powerful the base spirit, the lower the chances of a successful tethering. We're still just at a 50% success rate. Hey, but that's more than enough! At that rate, lesser spirit spyrites might completely replace regular spyrexes someday. Then people won't suffer and spirits won't die either. We did it! Great job, Chipo! Hey, what are pals for? Does this mean that Olympias' environment might recover too? It just might. Thank you, Balin. You have no idea how much this helps us. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. But we really should be thanking you. You're the ones who saved our research, after all. We did. If you hadn't saved us, all of our Spyrite research would have gone up in smoke. Someday these people will be able to get on with their lives again. Something tells me this Spyrite research is going to become very important. Looks like we found the path we've been seeking. Yeah. Although the fight's not over. Balin, could you tell us the exact spot where you found us? Oh, of course. I found you all collapsed at the end of Rusal High Road. You can reach the High Road by following this passageway here. Now Gaius will have to listen to us, right? No. It's too late. I don't know why I know this, but that was our last chance to convince him. Now that we understand the potential of Spyrites, and it's all because Jude wouldn't give up. I'm all like, yeah, take that, world! Jude can really do great things when he tries. I always knew that he could! <laughs> They're just as happy with his success as if it were their own. I completely understand their sentiment, though. Jude had never been the type to lead the way. But this time, he chose a path and followed it through. It's always good to see positive growth. I wonder whose influence that was. One thing's for sure, it certainly wasn't yours. Oh? 
Haven't you ever heard of reverse psychology? Teaching by bad example? At least your humility makes a fine example. It's good to see everyone upbeat for a change. Yes! The hill where Balin found us 